Okay, so Erica. You're open. doing great. This isn't something we can keep fighting out there. Between what we've learned at AMS and the journal we recovered from Harper's Ferry, this is big. If this is the Initiate. Good. You're here. We finally have a clear picture about the abductions, and it's time to do something about it. The Hellcat Company has been abducting people. Our findings at Harper's Ferry mean that Dr. Blackburn is almost certainly involved. I can't believe he just walked in here. He must have been at work even then. I never said it was my fault, Initiate. To think. The arrogance he must have had. Enough of that. The question facing us now is how to find him and the people who've been taken. Lucky for us, Scribe Valdez has made a discovery of her own while we were away. That's right. Remember the Pip-Boy you found in the Uncanny Caverns? It took a while to crack the encryption, but... I've unlocked it. It came from Vault 96. It took a bit of research to locate it, but it's well south of here. I'll mark it on your map. I wasn't able to find anything, unfortunately. I know every vault had a purpose, though. Like, Vault 76 was meant to house the best and the brightest to rebuild America? Ostensibly. Vault 96 could be anything. Well, we're not sure it is. What we do know is that we have a definitive lead to follow. The super mutant threat takes priority. If we find the missing civilians in the process, so much the better. But we cannot ignore this lead either way. Unsurprisingly, Night Shin and I don't see eye to eye on this. Fortunately, in this case, we don't have to. I think they're connected. A vault would be a great place to hide abductees. The Pip-Boy might even have come from someone that escaped. Investigating the vault is our best lead for either mystery, and maybe an answer to both. Then we're agreed. The vault will be your next target. Scribe Valdez will accompany you. A vault is a potential trove of exactly the kind of technology the Brotherhood is meant to catalog and secure. I've marked Vault 96 on your map. We don't know what we're walking into, or even how we'll get in, to be honest. We'll need to be cautious. You're the Paladin's favorite initiate, right? How's she gonna handle a situation with Night Shin? Of course. We've crossed the country on foot and fought raiders, and more. A Brotherhood scribe's life isn't all manuscripts and microscopes. Oh god. Why did I say that? Step one? is finding a way in. You'll take point. Based on other vaults we found crossing the country, the vault should have an emergency transponder. Once you've secured the entrance, the controls for the transponder are usually there near the main door. Activate it to give the all clear and I'll follow you in. I know I'm forgetting something. There's no guarantees, but we have to move on this intel. It's a good plan, and I think we're all in agreement on this one. Find any evidence you can about the missing people, and any connection to the super mutants. If Blackburn is there, I want him taken alive. If he really is behind the abductions, he needs to answer for his crimes. You have your orders, Initiate. Good luck. Dismissed. Okay, Erica. You're doing great! What do you need, Initiate?
A little late to the party, aren't you? If you're looking to loot the place, some blood eagles are ahead of you in line. I'd stop you, but... Uh, I think I quit. Our squad was guarding the entrance here when we were overrun by blood eagles. Killed everyone. <laughs> uh, me too. I just haven't kicked it yet. Name's Woods. Corporal Woods. Hellcat Company. Mercenaries. We got hired by this creep of a doctor to guard the place. Among other things. Promised us salvage rights here when he was done. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna collect on that. Yeah. <laughs> Raider types, but more bloodthirsty. You know? You can usually deal with the crater sort. Blood eagles, though. <laughs> they enjoy the killing. Hell of a bedside manner you've got. You know I'm dying, right? <sighs> Go ahead. Not like I'm doing anything else. Clock's ticking, though. Seriously? I'm bleeding out in front of you and you want my life story. <sighs> Hell. I'd rather die with somebody than alone. Whatever. Best of a bad situation, alright? The Hellcat said limits. A code. Better than joining up with raiders. We did good jobs as often as bad. Until this time, at least. It's our own fault. We got lazy. This place is so far out of the way, nobody ever passes by. Kind of the point. We figured we'd be shooing off the occasional stray scavenger that came poking around. This lot sent grenades through the entrance before we knew they were there. Rushed us while we were recovering. I took a bullet in the gut. Bastards left me to die slowly, because they thought it was funny. Yeah, Blackburn. Real unnerving guy, even before we found out what he was doing. Kidnapping was just the start of it. We should have cut ties then, contract or no. Even Merc should have lines they don't cross. I'd say I didn't have a choice, but we're mercenaries. We do it for the money, not some noble ideal. Nobody to blame but ourselves. Jesus, interrogating a dying woman. <laughs> That's stone cold. Aw, oh, don't look like that. I'm just fucking with you. This is important. Maybe you can fix our mistakes. It's where he had us bringing him. Other squads did, I mean. I was just guard duty. Not that it makes many less guilty. <laughs> Whether or not any of them are left alive? No clue. Wouldn't count on it with the Blood Eagles ransacking the place. <laughs> Can't figure the dock will last long either. Doesn't bother me, though. <laughs> That's kind, but... It's a little late for that. I've seen enough gut shots in my time to know a stim pack and bandages aren't gonna fix this. This one's got my name on it. God knows I've done enough to deserve it.
freezing in here. Look at all this ice. The environmental controls must be damaged. What happened here? Those are Hellcat Company uniforms, right? It looks like a massacre. Blood Eagles? What are they doing here? Looks like Paladin Romani was right. There's a link between the abductions, Blackburn, and the super mutants. We still need to figure out what. Give me a moment to look at these terminals. Oh, that's not good. The vault's on internal lockdown. I guess someone's responding to the Blood Eagle attack. If there are automated defenses still working, they'll all be active. We may be facing more than just Blood Eagles. Be careful. Let's get moving. I'll follow your lead. Must be the security lockdown. Let me try something. Got it. I was able to use the Pit Boys protocols to get the doors open, but it fried the circuits. If you run into any more locked doors, we're gonna need another way through. I guess we found Dr. Blackburn. Looks like most of this place is locked off. We need to search everywhere, but our options are limited right now. I think that door in the mainframe is open. Let's start there.
Something's close. Log, Dr. Edgar Blackburn, number 22. In retrospect, my enthusiasm for the cryogenically preserved specimens in the vault was excessive, if not actually excessive. I am down to the last four miles. Of the Human test subjects is itself less difficult than I imagined. People 
Appalachia heard bad news. I tell myself that I cannot complete it without doing it. It is I compound failure upon failure. In my quiet hours, I question what I have I began this enterprise fully cognizant of what it might take. I don't think we've got much choice. We're going to need that key card to bypass the rest of the security doors. I told you I just found it, dummy. I was about to try it out right when I heard you walk up. I got injured in here. Okay, maybe I'm no sweet little orphan, but... I actually like some of these idiots. I, I don't want to just leave them for dead. Come on, come on, I can hear more coming. We got a deal? Nothing. Same as stopping you from shooting us if we let you in. We don't need more trouble. We just want to get out of here. Help us hold off the bots and we'll leave peacefully. For you, anyway. No promises if someone else tries to stop us. Now we're talking. Now give me a sec to get the door open. Good thing Shin's not here. I don't think he'd agree to this. No shooting, boys. They're on our side. Crap, here they come again. Fire at what's the jet? I want to never see another robot. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Your lucky tally vouchers for you. Damn. Good thing you showed up when you did. Looks like I was right about you. Shame we keep meeting under these circumstances. We could get into some real trouble. Can't believe the Brotherhood bailed us out. Well, a deal's a deal. Key card's yours. I ain't gonna die in this place. Yeah, banged up, but with the coast clear, we should be able to get out of here. I don't say this a lot, but thanks. I can't believe we just got thanked by a blood eagle. If everyone else is dead, I get a better share, right? As always with you. All right, I guess I owe you Ain't that much. What's up? Joint. One of our people trailed those Hellcat idiots back here. A vault's gotta be full of good stuff. Guns, bombs, food, and... Okay, this one turned out to be some kind of nightmare for the show, but can't blame us for trying. I'm gonna take a trophy off your Violence, not my problem. Hey, don't look at me like that. We'd be dead if you hadn't shown up. If they're not, we soon will be. I try to get these guys here to make a rescue. They'll ask me themselves. <laughs> Eyes. Get it. Eyes. Shit, we're taken here. Yeah, I figured. Them's the breaks. I'm sure they tried to kill you too. You won. It happens. What? Too heartless? You don't lead a gang with feelings, man. I'll be honest. The it's only ones I actually sense. liked are in here with me anyway. I want a fire. I want some jets. With it? This is my world. gang. I can't believe you bought that bullshit I told you at Fort Atlas. I'm not even a good liar. Can't get enough of me, can you? All yours. You got this far, so I'm guessing the way you came is clear. Hey. Thanks again. Maybe we won't even shoot you share, if we right? see you again. No promises. When we're done here, we'll have a team check all these pods. Leave me alone. There might still be someone alive in one of them. What are you looking at? Hey, we ain't friends, okay? We need shit, we're taking here. Research log, Dr. Edgar Blackburn, number 57. I begin to doubt my own sanity at times. My efforts, while not without progress, Continue to fail to bear real fruit. The FEV seems almost deliberately malignant, as if it had a consciousness, and rejects my every attempt to bend it toward a benevolent end. I have come to recognize the signs of imminent metastasis and conversion to the so-called super-mutant state. I am ill-equipped to deal with the product of such failure, and have taken to disposing of these unfortunates outside the vault itself. I regret that my current methods of disposal may, in the short term, increase the super-mutant population in Appalachia, but it cannot be avoided. End log. These vessels were once still in specimens. Stop here so the captive summoners can turn them into birds. Like West Tech, they concern themselves only with whether they can do these things. Not what benefit they, they might bring. At best, they need weapons. Such a point. And the turn that they left behind to better lands.
I regret the ugliness you find. Research law, Dr. Edgar Blackburn. Number 112. My work's demand for human subjects has increased dramatically as I make ground toward my ultimate goal. To this end, I have contracted with a group of mercenaries calling themselves the Unaveling Hellcat Company. Trustworthy. Such a term applies here. They display a useful moral flexibility. They do not question the nature of my work. Or my Already they have begun a quarrel. of the forced evolutionary virus were idiots savant. They saw weapons, soldiers, to win a war that would end all... citizens. Nuclear strike imminent. Please exit the area at your earliest convenience. Thank you for your cooperation.
can't take it anymore. Please, help us. Oh, thank God. You've got my thanks, stranger. Introductions are in order, I guess. My name's Cassie. Did I say that already? A waking nightmare. I'm not injured. Got lucky. The doc didn't do any surgery on me. That nut job was dosing me with diseases, though. Said he was testing incubation and immune response times. <sighs> Weird thing is, he kept apologizing. Oh, Bad oh, case yeah. of sludge long now. <clears throat> but I'm... <clears throat> I'm holding up. <clears throat> Some of the others are in worse shape. It was a nightmare. A waking nightmare. For real? You must be my guardian angel. Well, well, I did get kidnapped and locked up by a mad scientist, so... Maybe not. But still, thank you. You get to miss and breathe normally. Nightmare. A nightmare. Please. Maybe I could, oh, but <laughs> there's no way the rest will. I don't even know where we are, but <clears throat> I'm guessing we're not close to civilization. These folks won't make it a mile in their condition. It's better if they stay here. When we've cleared the vault, I'll radio Fort Atlas. They can send the medics with the recovery team and get them to save you. I can't take it anymore. Whatever Fort Atlas is, that sounds good to me. Thanks kindly. I'll leave some food and water for you to share until help arrives. You're a peach. I think we're the last surviving ones. It used to be more. When he takes you out of the cells, you don't always come back. Hasn't been down here in a few days, though. Figured he got what he wanted, or someone done him in. Good timing on your part. The crappy rations he gave us last time are nearly gone. Social calendar is wide open, as it happens. What do you want to know? Everything hurts. I feel sick. Yeah, that's me. You know Uncle Art? God, he's got to be so worried. He might even express an emotion besides world-weary. <sighs> I hope he's all right. Came in on a Blue Ridge caravan. Doc was there, too. Had some people slip away in the night, but... The guide said it happens. People turn back, that kind of thing. And one night we shelter from a storm, and... Those Hellcat goons ambush us. Capture us all. Spent days in a cart or something. Blindfolded. Before they dump me here. Well, I'm a captive audience. Too soon? Eh, what do you... Don't let him take me again. My social count. Please. Don't let him take me again. Now that sounds like a fun bunch. Uncle Art mentioned them in, uh, broad terms. Can't say I'm not glad to meet you, though. Well, too soon. It was a nightmare. We ain't going anywhere. Hey, if you run into that crazy doctor, Give him a kick for me, all right? Somebody get us out of here. Look me up at Foundation when this is all over.
ask one final time. Leave this vault and the things you've seen. You cannot change what has happened here. Leave me to this cold and lonely place. doesn't work? Blackburn must have overridden the door codes. Probably guess the looters might find a key card eventually if they had the run of the place. If he's changed the codes for the door, we're not getting through normally. I knew a lot of knights that would probably try to blow up the door. But I think we can do better than that. These doors are hydraulically sealed. If we can find the lines that feed to this door, we might be able to cut the pressure holding it shut. Look for a utility room nearby. This should be it. Take a look. See if you could find the lines to the Overseer's office. work. You might have a future as a scribe if you want it. Let's head back. The door should be open now. It appears neither the vault defenses nor the blood eagles were a match for you. Quite formidable. You can lower your weapons. It would clearly be futile for me to struggle, and I surrender willingly. Be pointless for me to resist at this stage. The Overseer's office. What will you do Applying now? Applying cancellation algorithm. Done. Have a good week, everyone. Dismissed. Contrary to what you may think, I did not lie to you when we spoke at Fort Atlas. I did say it would be difficult for a layperson to understand. What you call insanity is merely the regrettable necessity of my work. That it condemns me in your eyes, or consigns me to whatever hell may exist, is a price I pay willingly. I have ensured the future of humanity, not just in Appalachia, but the world. No cost is too high for this. Were it possible to achieve it without the suffering of innocence, I would have done so. After seeing what you've done here, I hope hell does exist. Despise me if you will. I took no pleasure in what had to be done. FEV was never intended to be a source of abominations and grotesqueries. It was to be the next step in human evolution. Our refinement into something greater and better. Certainly the fools at West Tech were more obsessed with observing its failures than correcting them. But its true purpose was for good. And now it will fulfill that purpose. Because of me. Listening to this is making me understand Shin's point of view. This is true. 
I wish it could have been avoided. It was easier and safer for myself, if not for others, to release those failures before their metamorphosis was complete. I had work to finish, and I knew the Brotherhood was out there to deal with the errors. Your errors tunneled into Fort Atlas and could have killed everyone! Is that so? It seems my failures were indeed steps on the road to success. That level of coordination suggests an increase in cognitive development over the typical example. Still, I bear the Brotherhood no ill will. My apologies for that. Do you believe I did this all blindly? Groping madly in the bodies of the innocent for some unknown and hallucinatory secret? With each iteration, each test conducted, I identified flaws in the virus and calculated their removal. I have no doubt in my work. It sounds like you haven't actually tested your perfect virus. There are... steps being taken as we speak. Any miscalculations that might exist are minor and will be addressed shortly. I am sure your Brotherhood will happily interrogate me until I have no tale left to tell. I will be entirely forthcoming, though I expect you will want to conduct your Inquisition within confines more amenable to the Brotherhood. As for the contents of this vault, the Brotherhood is free to collect anything they like. My work here is finished. I don't like the sound of that. I have no doubt that you do, as you wish. Yes, I assumed as much when you entered. Very well. Consider me arrested, if you must. I am ready to face any judgment the Brotherhood wishes to mete out. My work here is complete regardless. And it is too late for you to stop it. I have completed it. I turned a flawed miscreation into something that will heal an ill and wounded humanity. But if by that you mean, what have I done with the result? It is no longer here. I have... associates. They are even now finalizing the mechanisms of its distribution. You are too late. Paladin Romani needs to hear about this immediately. Do you think I'd take any pleasure or pride in that fact? Think what you will, but I am not inhuman. Had I been capable of accomplishing my goal without them, I would have done so. I am neither a sadist nor a homicidal maniac. I do not expect forgiveness. But I am certain what I have done will bear sufficient consequence without fabricating new sins to hang upon me. Yeah, consider me. My work here is... Let me go. Had I committed any offense of which you could possibly have been aware? I am at your disposal, then. You can head out. I'll radio for a team to secure the site and get the prisoners to safety. Then bring Blackburn back to the fort. I'm sure the others are going to have a lot of questions for him. Good work, Initiate. I'm glad you were here.